Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for joining this webinar today. I'd like to introduce to you our speaker for today's BI Healthcare Roadmap. Anna Daly is a healthcare informatics professional with an extensive background in clinical data, business intelligence, and health information technology management. As both vendor and business owner, Anna has played an integral role in developing and leading clinical warehousing and BI initiatives for some of the largest healthcare systems in the United States. Her specialties include data governance, government and healthcare operations, and clinical-based research reporting and analytics. Ms. Daly received her Bachelor of Science from Harding University and her nursing degree and Master's of Science Nursing Informatics from Vanderbilt University. She also serves as the Adjunct Professor of Healthcare Informatics for Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee. At this time, I will pass the presentation role over to Ms. Daly. Thank you, Carlin, and thank you all for joining us today. So let's talk about building your healthcare BI roadmap. You know, leveraging your data to build and enable a robust business analytics platform to its fullest potential requires a pragmatic yet flexible approach and a plan. Knowing, knowing and understanding where you are and where you want to be are the first steps in your success. At Pandera, we believe in creating a BI roadmap that provides a framework for how business intelligence and analytics can be applied to specific challenges faced by healthcare providers and staff, your financial and operational departments, and the community at large. As we walk through the webinar today, we've got a following agenda items that we'd like to cover. First, we're going to kind of walk through business intelligence strategic objectives, assessing your BI landscape how to qualify your problem, prioritize your actions, track your progress, and then measure your success. So let's get started. As healthcare entities develop their long-term corporate vision, they're often faced with challenges for seeking avenues of continuous improvement to meet the changing needs of their patients, as well as ensure compliance with you know, all the ever-evolving government mandates and payment reforms. The vision necessitates collaboration and partnerships with vendors and tools to support growth and expand clinical and operation expertise. You, you know, you want to always ensure you have a model of excellence across the entire patient care continuum. We're, we're always wanting to look for ways to align our strategic business objectives. So we look at performance, you know, how are we aligning business and operational initiatives? Starting with the customer support, or you know, how are we making sure our solutions fit our users' long and short-term needs? Our business apps, are, are we developing a robust enough system to perform simple tasks as well as complex algorithmic processes? And then ultimately, is your commercial value? We want to be able to show return on investment with the implementation of our tools and processes, and we want them to fit clinically, financially, and operationally. So the, the evolution of analytics and the talk of big data are, are hot topics right now. You know, it's basically the journey and uh, the journey of only analytics that we all undertake as we travel the world of reporting, spreadsheets, and disjointed solutions. You know, we step through information access with departmental data marks and delivery systems, going on to enterprise information and, and platform warehousing where we have a single version of the truth to achieve performance management. We, we go upwards to integrated delivery systems and self-service analysis. But ultimately, the goal is that of an intelligent, agile enterprise. We all want a platform that provides information on demand when and where we need it. It focuses actionable data. It provides embedded analytics into our everyday workflow. And it really enables enterprise decision automation, allows you to utilize your information assets with clarity, insight, consistency, and efficiency. You know, reaching a defined and sustainable BI strategic plan requires a lot of strategic or a lot of resources that are talented across your organization, as well as a strong leadership guidance. There's a lot going on here. You know, you want to make rapid progress, but you also want to ensure clinical operational efficiency. And you want to balance that with a need for a robust design, all while meeting your budget. To begin your analytic journey, you really will need to define and develop tools and processes that support this shift towards decision automation. 
and helps to cultivate a plan for analytics that mod and analytic modules that support four key types of analysis. You, you want to be informational. You want to be able to show trend over time and clearly identify patterns and areas of opportunity. You need to make sure that you're directional. Provide simple tools for analysis to help people understand what the real drivers are. Make it actionable. Your tools need to be developed to guide the user to better understand and provide detail to support actions and decisions. And then forensics. Create modules that are available for deep dives that allow you to develop, delve into complex compound mathematics and complex pattern detection. You know, at the end of the day, your goal is to create a clear, abstracted view and decision framework for analyzing operations across your organization, all navigated through simple screen interaction. With these frameworks in mind, Pandera Systems has developed a five-step methodology to conduct and define a BI roadmap that helps enable a robust reporting solution to meet clinic, healthcare's clinical, operational, and financial needs. And it all begins with a BI assessment. The BI assessment is the first and most critical of the five steps, as it establishes the foundation on which your entire reporting BI solution will be built. It's the initial building block, and it helps to outline the project and ensure that it's directionally correct and it's in alignment with stakeholders' goals and objectives. You really want to start by looking at what's working and what's not. You know, do you have a multiple reporting solution? Do you have multiple data stores? Um, do you have multiple data stores that are related to patient care in and of itself? You know, is there a lack of standard definition across platforms? One of the, the uh, definitions that, that a lot of people have problems with is, is just simply what is the definition of an inpatient? As simple as that may seem, if you've got multiple definitions it's across multiple platforms, across multiple data stores, it's kind of hard to kind of align in on that and make sure you're going in the right direction. Do you have competing analytic priorities, financial, compliance, regulatory? Who's getting the most attention at this moment in time? And do you offer a flexible reporting solution, but you don't have any ability to answer the simple questions on the fly? All of this to say you really need to evaluate where you are before you decide where you can go and how you move forward. So the assessment process developed by Pandera is, is involved with conducting a series of interviews with stakeholders at all levels of the organization, from executives and providers to your business analysts and your end users. We use an in-depth examination of current technical platforms and data sources, as well as analysis of your existing reports, your structures, your tools, your materials. We conduct conferences with executive teams to learn more about your organization's mission and goals. And then ensure there's alignment in our approach to help to establish data governance guidelines so that we can begin the process. The resulting documentation from these sessions can then be used to develop a strategic, a strategic business intelligence roadmap. And this helps ensure your healthcare organization continues in a growth trajectory and is established as a healthcare center and leader of excellence. The second step to building your BI roadmap is to qualify your ideas to achieve that early win. You use this step to help identify and discuss key reporting areas that you want to address with your stakeholders, as well as your end users. You look for viability, adoptability, and the ease of implementation. While this may seem somewhat redundant to your previous steps, it really is necessary to understand the feasibility and the demand of your reporting needs. It is also a step that needs to be reviewed prior to beginning any new reporting project or objective that you may undergo with your organization. You need to understand your reporting solutions so they can be developed and implemented within your timeline and your budget. You know, take an inventory of your current reporting solutions across your organization. So what's really being used and what's really not? You know, how much are they being used? Who are they being used by? How are your reports being supported? IT analysts, business analysts, clinical analysts, financial analysts, are they all supporting the same reporting solution? Do they have multiple solutions that they're supporting? Are they reporting the same things? Are they running the same reports off of but different analysts use running the same information? 
Who owns the reports currently being used? Are the metrics and the definitions that are being used standard? Do you have duplicate requests and duplicate work streams? Do you really get the same answer regardless of who runs the report? And if I look at what are some of your synergies, what can be capitalized on? Back to the question, what's working well and what's not? If you've got something that's really working well, that can be one of your, uh, one of your jumping off points to move forward. What can be overhauled with minimal effort? And then what needs to just be eliminated altogether? It's not working now, it's never worked, and we rarely use it. You need to start by qualifying your operational needs. Make sure you level set your project team and your intended users of the tools and the objectives of the project. You know, chances are you've got multiple tools, you have multiple analysts, and you've got multiple opinions. Level setting will get everybody on the same page and it'll increase your buy-in in the process. Make sure you lever the expertise and the leadership of your operations team. You want to align the functionality with the business needs. Your operational folks, they're the who keeps the lights on. Utilize their knowledge to define how and what they do and how that supports and enables clinical processes to further align your goals. Find key ways that the tools can impact business process and identify future strategic functionality opportunities. You always want to be on the lookout for potential areas of improvement. You know, make sure you ask questions. Delve deeper into how and the why and look for opportunities to leverage your BI tools and technologies even further than what you're using them now. You also need to work and qualify your technical ability. Work with your technical teams to understand your existing reporting and data landscape. They may not always build the reports that you're using, but they know where the data lives and they know the hurdles to jump through to get through it. Get to it. Learn what technical debt must be anticipated and work to mitigate those risks. You know, figure out what you're missing and how you need to go about getting it. Do a preliminary analysis of the platform's baseline for project requirements and potential financial returns. You know, make sure your existing platform meets your advancing reporting needs. The last thing you want to do is to start something, start and implement a platform that will only meet this particular project. Think long term, think ahead. What needs to be enhanced and how? And how do we make this work long term? The third step in the BI roadmap is prioritization, or prioritize for success. Prioritization is key to ensuring your organization is tackling those high-impact areas first, making sure you start small to enable quick wins within your reporting solution, and you answer those simple questions first, rather than attempting to create an enterprise solution all at once. It's important that you define and focus on key areas that you want to address in the first phase of your project to ensure that the scope of your project is manageable and measurable. You know, focusing on key areas will allow the project team to develop a modular approach to BI, and it will allow for repeatable processes and knowledgeable resources to be developed for future reporting needs. You know, make sure you tackle those high-impact areas early. It's generally easy to identify these steps it's generally easy to identify what your high impact areas are in your first uh, first step, which is assessment. You know, create visibility to executives and key stakeholders in the first rollout. So hit them early. Hit them early on the ease and the usability of your solution and let them start selling it for you. Align priorities with organizational goals for that, for that executive buy-in. Make sure you provide executive value as soon as you possibly can. Also, where possible, show beneficial relationship between clinical, operations, and finance. Any one of these by themselves is a positive movement, but to enable the visualization and the relationship between the three is really your trifecta. Utilize role-based security to enable access of your data at all levels of your organization. You know, we all live in the world of HIPAA privacy and security rules. Make sure you're clearly defining access points early in the process and enable role-based security to the, so that your project is not derailed unnecessarily by security audits. You need to prioritize for early wins. You know, I've already mentioned this, but start small and win quick. Answer the simple questions first. You know, remember the old adage, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Taking on too much too fast is really a disaster for your roadmap. 
Take a modular approach. Again, start with the one to three areas depending on your size of your organization and your resource allocations, and then develop your metric definitions and methodologies, prioritizing your work. And then you have a wash, rinse, and repeat process thereafter for each model. One small caveat to ca uh, prioritization. I really encourage you to enable end-user exploration early. You know, stand up a self-service platform early. It really allows visibility and identification of immediate opportunities in areas of exploration. Now, this can be done quickly in focused areas by users or analysts who really know the data and know how to use it. Possible areas to include are, are quality and regulatory compliance, physician performance, financial costs, staffing, or claims management. All of these are areas that your data analysts and users know very well, and they could quickly identify areas of opportunity that you could really jump off on from a prioritization perspective. The fourth step in building your BI roadmap is tracking your progress. Your BI is successful rely heavily on creating and maintaining a data governance strategy within your organization if you haven't already done so. Most healthcare, or most healthcare organizations have technical data governance process it's already in place, and you know this defines and maintains the metadata around how your data is gathered, how it's organized, stored, retrieval, all of that. I'm really not talking about the technical data governance here. I'm talking about the human aspect of data governance. The human aspect of data governance also begins with your vision and commitment to the project and the process, like some of the other steps. But it's really defining the structure and process in which reporting ideas, metrics, and definitions are how they're vetted, how they're prioritized, and how they're aligned within your organizational goals. It's really also ensuring your staff and your executives are on the same page regarding your reporting objectives. Your governance team arbitrates and facilitates the reporting process to ensure success. Just like with your VI initiatives, you need to begin by assessing what your VI governance capabilities are. You know, the Pandera team has developed a governance framework that can be used to establish, establish this governance within your organization and helps to help you define it as it pertains to business intelligence and will help drive success all the way from inception to implementation and on through adoption. This framework will help you decide the type of governance that's best suited for your organization. You can choose a top-down approach, a bottom-up approach, a hybrid approach, but you really need to choose the one that's most flexible that is going to allow you to grow and change over time. Establishing data governance early in the process also enables you to quickly identify areas of conflict and areas of opportunity so you can gain consensus. I really strongly encourage you to institute data stewards within business and clinical areas that know and understand how and when your data is being used. This will help align and valuable help you align in moving forward in defining metrics and data dictionary needs, their uses, as well as defining an agreed upon change control process. You know, the government process, governance process can also be used to help with some of the ongoing themes of the webinar. You know, you're looking at aligning priorities with an organizational goal, ensuring the relationships between clinical, operational, and finance and then defining realistic, attainable, and measurable project deliverables. The final step of defining your BI roadmap is outlining measurable, attainable goals to ensure your analytic applications and your reporting solutions align to your plan. They drive performance and they increase efficiency. It also helps to build the capability to assign and track specific initiatives around your key areas for focused improvement. As you're creating your BI roadmap and moving forward in your analytic journey, you always want to keep an eye on what's ahead. Make sure you're always moving toward an analytical application that, again, aligns clinical and operational plans to drive performance. You want a simple interface that visually indicates where operational decision makers should look rather than running many report screens and making it available on any device anywhere. You want a complete view of performance relative over all operations and functional perspective. You want to make sure you take everybody into account. You want clinical outcomes, sales, labor, inventory, claims management, finance. Make sure you give everybody what, a little piece of what they need. 
And then you want the capability to assign and track specific initiatives for focused improvement. Always think about prioritizing your future. Keep your eye on it. Ultimately, your measurements of success will be evident by the broad acceptance and utilization of simple interfaces that visually indicate where operational decision makers look rather than just running a bunch of reports and making it available to everyone. You want to make sure you build your data model to support future growth and functionality, but still is flexible to be reused with metrics and definitions that you've defined through your governance process. You want to use success to encourage growth and expand this platform to all levels of your organization. And make sure you don't forget about mobility. Now, the focus of the Pandera BI Roadmap Strategy is to provide recommendations for your organization to build a foundation of long-term scalable BI reporting solutions and data warehousing. Your beginning will shape the capabilities for your tomorrow. So it's imperative that long-term goal planning is in step with your corporate vision and your mission to continue to provide high-quality, affordable, and compassionate health care for all the patients. While your goal is to meet current reporting needs, you don't look past emerging technologies as mo such as mobility or motion sensor technology in conjunction with uh, infection prevention, wearable devices that can be integrated in quickly into your workflow, or even Google Glass. Don't think of them as futuristic and out of the realm of the possibility. You know, product performance and human performance are inter interdependent, and they're happening all around us, including in healthcare. The future is here, and we're prepared to help you embrace it. Finally, happy and informed users of a reporting solution that you develop and implement are the results of a successful BI roadmap strategy. By providing them a valuable experience in utilizing and integrating these tools into their daily workflow, you'll improve product performance and user productivity. You can increase your adoption and dissemination of your data as an asset across your organization. You empower users and inspire them to look for new things and look for new trends. You establish yourself as a highly valued brand differentiator and increase customer satisfaction and loyalty. But finally, you provide insight and clarity to your product development team of where to move next. What's our next step in our BI roadmap, in our BI journey? As you travel along the roadmap, you're not always going to get it right. You may determine that some of your assumptions were flawed or your logic was faulty, and you change your process accordingly. That is all a part of the growth that you're going through, and you'll learn to be flexible along the way. You may simply change the order of your priorities or you change the actual roadmap itself. All of it's okay. It's all good. It's all part of your journey. At Pandera, we would love to help you start the process and work to chart a path of innovation and success for years to come. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at pandera-systems.com or at info at pandera-systems.com. A solutions partner will be happy to reach, get back with you and start talking and opening the conversation on how we can help you into your BI journey. Thank you very much, and we will talk again soon.